when you saw me, did you think the hair was midlife crisis or I must be part of the tofu eating work karate? <laughs> I prefer to think it's the latter. However, in truth, it's probably for this both. I'm actually a climate crisis activist, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a bit depressing. <laughs> you know, we're heading towards mass extinction. The planet is burning. The ice caps are melting. Sea levels rising, and they even reckon there might be a zombie virus trapped in the permafrost in the tundra. It's very doom and gloom. But it's not all bad news. There's a new series of Loki on the television. <laughs> Summers have never been sunnier. And if all else fails, there's always shopping. Yes. Like stocks last, of course. Um, for me, I love a bit of retail therapy to help with the end of the world of blues. Forget the Amazon rainforest for now. I like the easy returns policy on Amazon.com. <laughs> There's nothing quite like getting a parcel, and for me it writes a lot of wrongs from my childhood of actually getting a present I want. <laughs> Top tip, if you've had a few, order a couple of things off your wish list, because you'll forget you've ordered them, and then when they arrive, you'll be like, oh, I've got a parcel, who was thinking of me? And then you'll open it, and you'll be like, oh my god, I always wanted these. And then you realise it's you, but that's okay, because that's self-love, that's healing and you are worth it. <laughs> I always thought the apocalypse would be a bit more dramatic, you know, like Jesus would come down on a cloud in a spiritual rapture or an asteroid would hit the earth, but this is all a bit slow and boring, isn't it, really? Um, if, you, if you were to blink, you might miss it. Um, I, for one, I, oh, I forgot what I was going to say next. So this, is, this is not a tattoo. This is, <laughs> I'm not just ADHD, I've also got menopausal brain fog. <laughs> I was going to say that uh, you might notice the apocalypse when we've got some food shortages. So um, for me, I'm looking forward to getting in my size 12 jeans again. Always looking for the silver lining. And uh, if that fails, then when the supermarket shelves are bare, I might be able to fast myself into a new spiritual realm. <laughs> Despite appearances, I do not live in a van. <laughs> in a lay-by in Bristol. <laughs> with my polyamorous friend Sky and Star Channel. <laughs> I'm not one of these flaky crystal hippies, um, although I will confess I do like to pop my lapis lazuli out and recharge it under the light of a full moon. That's not a euphemism, Dave. <laughs> I'm very well aware that clutching a piece of rose quartz is not going to bring about world peace, and also that lying on the floor listening to a gong does not cure chlamydia. <laughs> And no amount of apple cider vinegar is going to cure childhood trauma. <laughs> I, um, I'd like to um, finish on telling you a little bit about um, the apocalypse um, and... Uh, sorry, I'm going to do this again. Um, just going to um, Oh yes, that's right. Um, because at least you'll see the point. <laughs> it's all very doom and gloom, but I do have something I can help you to get through it and make sure that you have lots of well-being and feeling good about yourself. It's a little exercise that I was taught by my kinesiologist. And it's meant to align your chakras. So you start at the groin, which is your root chakra, and it goes all the way up to your crown chakra. So it's a deep breath in, and then out. I forget what it's called, but I call it Sniffy Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be very good at unblocking your chakras, and if you're saving water by not showering, <laughs> your sinuses as well. 